Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, my husband and I are in Winona, Minnesota. Well, well we're not in Winona. Yes, it is. Right now, we're not technically, we're not in Winona. We're just doing one little quick spot, quick um, stop at this mill. But we pulled up to it and it's closed till May 22nd. But there's a little area where you can park and see it from afar. So I'm gonna get some pictures of it. And then as I'm taking pictures of it, I'll tell you guys a bit of the history of this place. Yeah, that's the mill. For the history of this mill, on the article that I read, it said there's two water mills in Minnesota that are still operating. And that's, one of them is this one. Well, actually it's kind of funny because today we're going to be exploring those two um, water mills. This is the second oldest mill of the two. It was built in 1876. To this day, if I read that article right, this mill still has the original operating machinery from the 1870s. It's um, been milled for different kinds of wheats and cereal. So cool part of history from location number one. Now we're going to have two more locations on our list to explore. Are our second mill for today, Pickwick Mill, that has two waterfalls. One right here, which is the dam, and then one down there, so you see, that's a natural formed waterfall. I'll tell you guys more about the history of this falls later in the video. You can see both the waterfalls from here. The lower one, the natural falls, and then the dam up there. And then the mill is right there. We are done with the lower falls. Now we're going to the damp part and get pictures from there. Pickwick Mill is the oldest water mill still operating in Minnesota. The mill was built from 1854 to 1858.
Harrison I came to here last year and yes I made a video on it but I did not recommend watching it because that video is not very good and that's the reason why we're back here today is so I can redeem myself from the from last year's video. But anyways a lot of people on Instagram were asking where's the parking for Sugarloaf Bluff? Well here's a sign for it and here's an idea. You park next to this on the side of the road. The Dino Realty. If you come to Sugarloaf, be prepared. It is a hike. Not stroller friendly, and personally, not toddler friendly. If you guys want to know more information about these three parks we've gone to today, in the bio, I'll have more information on these parks, drive time, like walk time, more, just more information and all that stuff. Did it. Here's Winona and our truck is right there. So Sugar Slope history is kind of cool. It, we are 500 feet above Lake Winona and this used to be a quarry. The reason why this place was quarried is because Winona was um, sidewalks used to be wood. So in the 1870s, 90% of Winona's downtown got burnt down. So they quarried um, sandstone to make it into the new sidewalks. They also used some of the sandstone for buildings as well for texture. If you guys want to know more history from Sugarloaf Bluff, Pickswick Mill, or the other mill we went to today that I can neither really try to pronounce the name for, check out my Instagram because I post the history of all the locations I, I explore. And I think that is it. I'm going to take some pictures of flowers and then after that we're heading out. After taking some pretty pictures of Muaz, some pretty pictures of the bluff, and getting frustrated with flowers, we are heading out. It took us 15 minutes to hike down from um, Sugarloaf. So 20 minutes up, 15 minutes down. But anyway, so that is the end of today's video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this little travel video of exploring parks in Winona. My husband and I also made a vlog today. So if you guys want to see us having a picnic and doing some shopping for our son's birthday, then check out the vlog. The link will be in the description or the little eye icon will pop up. Let us know if you guys will explore any of these three parks we've gone to today. And we will see you guys next time, next video. I don't know why, but later I've been forgetting my outro.